Hey girls, it's Gina. So I know it's been almost a year. I think actually it's actually been a year <laughs> since my last video. So I'm here to update you girls on what's going on in my life. You probably already noticed that my background is pretty different. I just moved back to New York a week ago. Um, and I'm still kind of settling in. This is my new apartment with my fiance Alan so um, for those of you who followed me throughout the years you guys saw my whole transition from going from college to dating and then like dating my um, boyfriend now fiance um, for three years so after three years just three months ago he proposed to me so that's my, oh, you can see the tan already, that's so bad. Um, so I got proposed to three months ago and he did really well. He bought me just a really classic round diamond ring. I know my, my hands are ugly and pudgy so don't mind my hands but it's a really pretty setting. And yes, it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> so um, anyway. That's why I'm here in New York. Uh, Alan actually ended up getting a job back here a couple months ago. So he actually moved ahead of me. And I wanted to get things, you know, um, taken care of before I moved back. So, yeah, now I'm back in New York. And now that I don't have to work in the kitchen, you know, I am going to be making videos again. So now that I have some free time, yay! I'm going to make some videos. Now I don't know what I'm going to make videos of. But, um, you know, a couple of the ideas that I'm thinking of is, is now that I'm engaged. I've already started doing a lot of planning for my wedding and so I'm thinking of doing this whole wedding series I saw Judy's wedding series and it was awesome so I was thinking of starting my own wedding series because I'm doing a lot of things myself like my centerpieces and and I'm coming up with different ideas like all the little party favors and kind of like whatever I can you know save money on I'm trying to save money on so um, I thought that would be really fun and I've picked a really good venue already and some really cool vendors that are willing to um, talk with you guys. So, that's to come. Oh, and also I'm probably thinking of making some cooking videos because I'm realizing that a lot of younger people are having a hard time cooking and since I have the free time. Maybe I'll take you guys grocery shopping with me to show you what my, you know, my uh, my crazy packed refrigerator. This is the life of a cook. If you cook at home, like how I cook, and I don't throw away anything. Just, just, just to give you an example, I went to Costco my first week here, and I spent four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, so my pantry is stuffed, my freezer stuffed, my refrigerator is stuffed. But the good thing is that I use everything and that's why Alan is spoiled. He has a packed breakfast, pa packed lunch, and he comes home to a hot dinner. What guy wouldn't be happy, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, that's that. Uh, you guys probably want to know how he proposed, so that's going to be the last of my video, my update video, um, because it is a pretty cute story. It isn't flawless, I'll tell you that. We are a very unconventional couple, so things never go our way. And as much as we want to plan things, like, you know, we hope that it'll go a certain way, it never ends up happening. So, um... It happened May 29th, which was the day of Alan's flight. He actually proposed right before he left on his uh, flight to back to New York. So, um, rewind one week before that. Uh, Alan and I, we had gone to my sister's house in Orange County and that night when we came back I went up to take a shower and I guess Alan was talking to my mom and he had asked my mom for my hand in marriage I had no idea of course uh, next day comes along and I'm driving home with my mom and she starts 
I'm driving home, okay? And my mom starts giggling in the passenger side seat. She's like, oh, and I'm like, mom, why are you laughing randomly by yourself? And she's like, oh, I have something to tell you. And I was like, yes, what is it? She's like, oh, but I don't know if I should tell you. I'm like, mom, if you don't have to tell me, don't tell me. She's like, but, but it's so good. <laughs> That's just like, oh, Alan told me something. Really, mom? Seriously? She's like, oh, I don't think I'm supposed to tell you though. And I kid you not, as soon as she started saying that, I started crying in the car and I was crying and laughing at the same time, right? And I'm like, mom, why would you say that? Why would you, why would you even hit that? Why wouldn't you just let it happen? She's like, oh, don't worry. You know, I didn't finish it. I didn't tell you. And I'm like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, no, don't worry. You're okay. So anyway, we get home and I'm like in complete shock. And I'm like, I cannot believe this is happening. And then, you know, out of the corner of my eye, I see my dad walking up the hill with Alan. So they're having this man talk. And obviously, Alan was asking my dad's hand for my hand in marriage, right? See, they come up the hill and my dad's like, oh, go tell your brother, we're going to go out to eat. And I'm like, uh, okay. So I guess we're having a family dinner. So we even invite my aunt and we go to eat sushi at a sushi restaurant. And right in the middle of dinner, my dad starts going, oh, I have an announcement to make. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> please, no. This is not how it's going to happen. And Alan's face was literally like, and you just saw his head go down and like he was just going like this the whole time and I'm like this is not happening to me and my my brother's like don't do it don't do it <laughs> of course my dad is like oh the day after tomorrow Alan is going to be my son <laughs> my thought was literally F M L period Literally, okay, so my dad is like, oh, you know, he's a, I'm so happy, and my mom on the, the other side of him is laughing hysterically, okay, she's like, ah, and my aunt, she's laughing hysterically too. Meanwhile, I'm like semi-crying, I kid you not, like I had tears coming down my eyes, and I was like, this is the worst proposal ever. <laughs> So then my, my, my oppa, my brother, is like, why would you do that to her? Why would you ruin a girl's moment? This is like a, the moment that every girl is waiting for their entire lives. Why would you announce it? He hasn't even asked her. Alan at this point just like stands up from dinner and just walks outside. And I guess he like just goes to get fresh air. <laughs> I'm like crying and my mom and my dad are like, oh, we're not supposed to tell you. Oh, you know, you know, Korean tradition is you, you ask for hand in marriage and then that's it. I'm like, ma, this is not Korea. This is America. You're not supposed to. That's not how you propose. And she's like, oh, we didn't know. It's okay. <laughs> so that was the start of a very disastrous proposal which by the way Alan didn't end up proposing so um, he he came up to me right after dinner and was like just to let you know I'm not going to propose the way that your dad and your family think I'm gonna propose and I'm like awesome he's like yeah so don't expect the ring anytime soon I'm like great fantastic <laughs> Fast forward again, um, you know, I am working and Alan's like, hey, he texts me and he's like, uh, make sure you don't do anything on Friday. We're going to go to downtown and we're going to go on a date. Okay, sure, a date. Okay, so I know it's going to happen that day, but I'm still pretty like excited. But I am bummed at the same time because I know what's going to happen, right? Well, I'm at work and my brother's like, oh, who texted you? And I was like, oh, it's Alan. And he's like, oh, what did he text you? And I'm like, oh, he was saying like, don't do anything on Friday. Like we're going to downtown. So Al or my brother is like, oh, I know what you guys are doing on Friday. 
Oh, by the way, you're welcome. What? <laughs> so I'm like looking at him like seriously. He's like, yeah, you're welcome. I'm like, what do you have to do with Friday? And he's like, oh, you'll find out. But you should be thankful to me. Are you kidding me? So, so then I'm like really irritated because I'm like, okay, this is not cool. Okay, why should I be thankful to my brother for something that hasn't happened? So then I go to my mom's store, and I'm washing dishes, and I'm telling, I'm talking to my mom, and I'm like, my mom, you know what your son said to me? And she's like, oh, what, what did he say? And I was like, mom. Your son told me that I should be thankful for my date on Friday. She's like, oh, that's because Isaac, he gave Alan a $100 gift card to a steakhouse. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, mom? It's just like, oh, was I not supposed to tell you? <laughs> So I was literally like FML again and I decided that I would keep it quiet because Alan would be completely like heartbroken if he found out that his plans were ruined. So I was like, oh, whatever. So now I'm thinking, great, he's going to propose at a freaking steakhouse and now I know what I'm eating for dinner. So I just, I don't know, I just blew it off and then Friday comes along and I'm getting ready and Alan's like, are you ready yet? So I'm like trying to get my, you know, makeup okay and I'm... I'm trying to get my hair and trying to put, you know, clothes on and I realize nothing fits. Not only does nothing fit because I'm gaining weight, but <laughs> I have no clothes, okay? So I had I don't wear dresses because I'm not that much of a girly girl even though I look like it on camera. I'm actually pretty much a tomboy, right? So I have no dresses and nothing fits. So you just see clothes coming out of my closet. I put it on and I'm sweating because I'm like changing so many times. And you just see me throwing things and it's all over my couch and it's all over my bed and my floor. And at one point I was so angry because I couldn't find anything that would fit nicely that I just settled on this ugly zebra dress. Zebra pattern dress with a black cardigan so I'm like forget it so then I'm also looking for deodorant around the house and I couldn't find any freaking de deodorant so I'm getting all frustrated because okay deodorant not that big of a deal except the fact that like two days ago I went to Target and they had a three you know three for one sale so I bought three stinking deodorants and I couldn't even find one just one so like I was getting pissed off and at one point, I just gave up, so I went downstairs, and my mom's sitting at the kitchen counter watching Korean drama, and she, so she looks up from her drama, she goes, oh, is that what you're wearing? And I'm like, yes, why? She's like, but that makes you look fat. I'm like, seriously, mom? It's just like, oh, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just go. It's okay. You just told me I look fat. I don't want to look fat on the night of my proposal. She's like, oh, don't worry. It's okay. Just go. So I literally like threw down my bag on the floor and I was so angry and I marched back upstairs and I just threw on jeans and a shirt. Literally. I was so angry that I just I was like, forget it. Forget looking pretty. I put my hair up. I put on some jeans. I put on a shirt. Took my bag and ran outside. And I got in the car. And I was this close to just crying, right? And Alan looks at me. And I'm like, you know what? Don't talk to me right now. I am so angry. <laughs> it is not my day. I cannot find deodorant. I can't find anything to wear. My mom just told me that I'm fat. My proposal is ruined. Just don't see anything. And he's like, it's okay. You know what? You're okay. Why don't you just breathe? Do you want me to stop by Walgreens to buy deodorant? I'm like, no! <laughs> so he's like, are you sure? I'm like, no! So he's like driving down the street and poor Alan, he's like, He's like trying to get pop the question and he can't get the chance, right? And the mood is already off, but we're like about to pass Walgreens and Alan's like, are you sure you don't want me to stop by Walgreens? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I run in, I get some deodorant, 
makes me happy because at least one thing goes my way and I buy some chocolate because I'm so pissed off so then I'm eating a Ferrero shirt and I gave Alan one and then my mood starts getting better right so I'm like okay you know what tonight's gonna be a good night I'm about to get engaged so that's okay everything is good I'm gonna be good so we're driving and he drives across the Coronado Bridge and I'm like huh this is different because I thought we were going into downtown because in San Diego there's a there's a bridge to an, a little island called Coronado so we cross over to Coronado and we pull up on the beach now sounds romantic right Except the fact that it was freaking cloudy and cold and windy. Like the winds were like 15, 20 miles an hour. Like it was stinking windy. And it looked like it was about to start raining. So I'm, I look at Alan and I start kind of laughing. And I'm like, are we getting out? <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, there is no way he could have planned to propose to me on the beach okay that I don't see any candles I don't see nothing there is no way he's gonna propose to me on this windy gusty beach so we get out anyways and I'm walking on the sand and I have sand like going into my mouth and I'm like and I'm just like like spitting and I have sand going in my shirt and in my hair and I'm like seriously is this what we're doing and he's like he looks at me and he starts laughing and he's like you know what forget it just get in the car <laughs> so we get in the car and I look at Alan and I'm like you know what babe we're not a normal couple and as much as you want to plan things no nothing ever goes our way so it's okay the Coronado thing it's okay so we kind of just brush it off and we he's like let's just go to dinner so we get to Donovan's steakhouse right because that's where we had this hundred dollar gift card which I don't tell him that I know, but, you know, we just get there, and we're early, so the hostess is like, oh, you guys are early, so there's um, no seats right now, but why don't you take a seat at our bar and have a few drinks? And we're like, oh, that sounds perfect. We need a few drinks. We need to relax and have a good time. So we go to the bar, and we sit down, and we're waiting for our um, bartender. So we're waiting, and we're waiting. And 10 minutes go by and our bartender, like some mid-20s boy, decides not to serve us. So literally he walks back and forth like 10 times while we're like, hello, hello, drinks please. So finally he comes up to us and goes, oh, what can I get you guys? We're like, oh, I'm like, I want a glass of Riesling, please. He's like, okay, no problem. So then he asks Alan for his drink. Alan gets his drink. And then the guy starts walking away with our order. Except he turns around and he, like, looks back. And he decides to come back our way without our drinks. And he goes, can I see some ID? And we're like, really? Okay. So we pull out our ID because it's kind of weird. Like when you go out to a really nice dinner like that, you don't, you just don't expect to get carded, even though it is the law. Like, come on. Like if I don't know, I definitely know that in person, I do not look like I'm under 21 for sure. And Alan, he's 31, so there's no way. I don't know. Whatever. So we're like, we give him our IDs. He checks it, and he doesn't just check it, like check our date, and then looks at us. He literally checks the date our name like our face looks at us looks back looks at us looks back and finally decides that hey it's actually them so then he takes our ids and he chucks it at us i kid you not he doesn't just like put the ids down on the table like a normal person like when you go into a nice restaurant he instead chucks it at us like we're at some sports bar like we're at some just I don't know, casual pub. So then you just see the fumes coming out of Alan's nose and he's so pissed and I'm just like rubbing his back and I'm like, it's okay, babe. It's okay. This is just the story of our lives. <laughs> and poor Alan, he's like, <laughs> he's like, I hate this. And so finally we get our drinks and we're like just kind of chugging it, right? Because we just need a drink. And the guy comes... This big football player looking guy comes up next to us and sits right next to us. And the, our bartender, like, kid you not, less than five seconds, serves him and hooks him up 
with like an extra three shots in his drink. I kid you not. And he's like, yeah, man, I got you, bro. I got you, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, like, it took him 15 minutes to, like, 10 minutes to take our order. And then another 10 minutes to get our drinks to us. Anyway. <sighs> so then the kid drops off our tab. And I tell Alan, don't pay him until we leave. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm not going to. So we just enjoy our drinks, and we're just sitting there waiting for our table. And the kid thinks that we already paid him, so he comes to pick up the tab, and he starts walking away. He opens it to look at it in front of us, right, like as he's walking away. And he realizes there's no money in there. So he slams it, <laughs> comes up to us, and throws it at us again. I swear, so... At this point, I'm ready to like stand up and brawl. Like, I was calm before because I, I wanted to keep Alan like, you know, cool, collected. But now I'm fuming. So I'm like ready to brawl. So I was like so pissed off. And at that point, Alan got up and like went to the hostess and was like, Where's our table? Because <laughs> it had been already 30, 30, 40 minutes. So then finally they like go and seat us at our table. We're sitting down. We're trying to have a nice dinner. And then right in the middle of dinner, my sister starts phone banging me, okay? And knowing me, I'm retarded. I didn't turn off my phone. So it starts screaming. So I'm like picking it up because it's a nice dinner. And all you hear is my sister screaming on the other side. What do you mean you're not going to Vegas? What? What do you mean you're not going this weekend? So I guess Alan texted my brother-in-law saying no go. Meaning, no, he's not going to propose to me. But my sister was the one that ended up reading his text message and thought that it meant, no, we're not going to Vegas with them this weekend. So <laughs> she's just screaming and Alan's pissed. He takes the phone. That's not what I meant, Hannah. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> hangs up the phone on her and I just start laughing and poor Alan like was this close to tears anyway so let me re re recap my mom gets in the way my dad gets in the way my brother starts smudging that he gave a hundred dollar gift card to us for our engagement and then my my uh, brother-in-law didn't end up reading the text message and so my sister ended up so she starts foaming me at our engagement supposed to be engagement dinner <laughs> so every single one of my family somehow got in the way right crazy well we leave for dinner and what topped it off that night was that there, there was this drunk group of people that came out of the restaurant and they were like they thought that Alan was the valet guy so this drunk girl's like has her shoulder arm on Alan's shoulder and it's like oh are you the valet guy and Alan's like pissed he's like and then she's like do you have a lighter <laughs> poor Alan so we pretty much went home and we drank some more and then we passed out we called it a night um and then that weekend we went to Vegas and it was just a disaster. Every moment that he had to propose to me ended up never working out. And he didn't like attempt to ask me but you knew that he was prepared to ask me because he had the freaking ring in his shorts. In his khaki short pockets. Like I saw the box and it was there. And at one point I was like can you please just give it to me. I'll just pretend that you proposed. Can you just give me the ring? I was like, it's never going to happen if I don't get it. Please, can you just give it? He's like, no, I'm going to do it the right way. And you're going to thank me later because I think that I don't think that you deserve, you know, not to get proposed to in the right way. So I was like, fine, whatever. So um, the end of the weekend comes along. And finally, the day that Alan's flight is here, I start to realize, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get proposed to. Now, that wouldn't have been so bad if I didn't know that he was going to propose in the first place. But because I knew that he was supposed to propose like a week ago, I was kind of really upset, right? But I kind of like, you know, made men's to myself. I was like, okay, I'm not going to get proposed to, but that's okay because... You know, I, we're 
it's gonna happen eventually we love each other he's the one for me and likewise so I was okay with it and I was like you know what maybe when I go visit New York that's when he'll propose so that last day we decided to just spend time with each other in downtown before his flight because you know the airport is right in downtown so we just kind of walked um, on the pier, we just walked around downtown, and then we decided to take one of those uh, lunch, not lunch cruises, but one of those three-hour sightseeing cruises on the harbor before he left. And so um, we did that, and it was really cute. Like, it was the first time we got a moment to ourselves without my family getting in the way, without some random phone calls and some random incidents. And we were just enjoying the moment. So I was, the moment that it happened was when I was um, leaning on the rail like this. And I was looking at downtown over the water, like on the boat, right? And so Alan had his arms around me. And that's when he kind of just whispered in my ear, like, will you marry me as as he was putting on the ring on my finger with his arms around. So he caught the exact moment on point without anyone getting in the way, without, and you know, truthfully, I don't know how I would feel if a guy got on his knees in a, like in front of a bunch of strangers. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I think I would have been really uncomfortable. But the fact that he did it so non, you know, so nonchalantly, like, <laughs> just whispering it and at that exact moment it was just perfect so I was super excited and it was just the moment that I was I'm gonna cherish forever although there is another funny part to it because as he was putting on the ring he's like will you marry me clink and I kid you not, it stopped at my second joint, literally, would not get past this joint. So, I was like freaking out because he tried to put on the ring and it wouldn't go on. I was like, stop! <laughs> so, at that point, I like ran to a bench and I was like trying to jab it on. It finally went on. And I think it was just because I was really nervous because now it goes on fine. But at that minute, it wasn't, it was I was freaking out a little bit and then for a while like I was just on the boat I stopped even paying attention to the cruise I was just staring at the ring I was like oh my gosh look at the ring look at the ring <laughs> so and I don't think anyone noticed what was going on but I was just really can you stop staring at it because I couldn't stop staring at it when I first got it and I'm kind of chunky so my fingers are chunky so it doesn't do justice for this ring definitely should be on a prettier hand but whatever anyway so that's my story I know it was really long but um, I'm really excited to share it with you girls and I'm really excited that I get to start this next chapter in my life I have this amazing fiance um, that I'm gonna be sharing the rest of my life with and I'm so incredibly happy and I'm excited for us to you and YouTube, me and YouTube, because I get to make more videos. So if there are specific requests you guys have, um, especially for those of you guys that are also getting married, getting engaged, there are, you know, the number one, there's so many questions that I had when I started planning my wedding. So if you guys have any questions or any video requests for anything that has to do with the wedding feel free to put in your requests and yeah I guess I'll talk to you girls soon